Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for tuning in. And if you're a um, returning subscriber, I really appreciate your support and thank you for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to add an SSL certificate to your WordPress website. Um, in this video, I will be using SiteGround as my web hosting. So just keep in mind that um, this may vary um, depending on your web hosting, but I'm using SiteGround um, for my for this one, and then I'm using WordPress as the um, platform that I'm hosting my website on. So let's get in straight to the video. So here I have a website that has that has a non-secure um, message right here. I'm using Google Chrome, so Google Chrome will basically give you that non-secure message. Um, and basically is saying that, you know, your, your site, your site is not secure, which can, you know, involve hackers, credit, uh, any stolen information is very sensitive on your website, then it could be stolen by hackers or attackers. So we don't want that. We want to make sure it's secure. We want to make sure that it's, um, pr the privacy is protected. So, um, what I'm doing is I have a website here. And I've created the website here, but I want to install the SSL certificate. So, um, if you're in, if you're in SiteGround, you know you just go to your dashboard, and then you will go into security, and then you will go into SSL Manager, and then then you will want to install new SSL, and then you will select the domain that you want to install. And then this is with Let's Encrypt. So you will want to do Let's Encrypt. Um, and this is basically the, the free SSL certificate that comes with the web hosting, which is pretty cool. Um, and then if you have several website, websites, you can also do it with, um, with several domains as well. So I really recommend SiteGround. I actually will put a link below on how you can, uh, if you don't have SiteGround, on how you can get this web hosting um, because generally um, most web hosting charges extra for SSL certificates whereas you can get the entire package um, much less and you can have a limited basically a limited SSL certificate so you don't have to purchase more than one again if you have a di another domain which I really like it so yeah I'll leave that link below and also I'll pin it in the comments but yeah, so let's get back to the tutorial. So once you install it, you will click get, and then it will basically show here, and it will show that it's active, and you know when it expires. So this basically installs an SSL certificate. So then you will go here. So mine is already installed. However, there's one crucial thing that you must do after that. A lot of people don't know. So even though I I've installed the SSL certificate. It's still not working, right? Now, there's two ways you can do it. Um, another a way is the system takes a long time to update. So if it doesn't show on your end instantly, then you may want to contact support. If you don't have a WordPress website, so say, for instance, you do have SiteGround, but your site isn't hosted on WordPress, I would recommend contacting support and telling them to do the HTTPS force on there um, and that should be able to or you can go right here HTTPS enforce and you can um, enforce it however this could break some sites so I wouldn't really recommend this if you don't know what you're doing however if you contact support support will do it for you and they will make sure that everything is working on your end so but if you have a WordPress website like how I have here and it still is not showing because we, what, what we want is secure. We want something that says secure. So what we have to do is we have to go into our WordPress dashboard. Okay. And we want to go to plugins on the left side panel. And then we want to go into add new plugins. Okay. Then there is this really cool plugin. It's called really simple SSL. And then we want to click enter. And then basically this is going to basically add the SSL certificate um, on, on, on like this. It's basically going to make it secure. 
Um, you don't really need to do any setup requirement, any codes or any back end stuff. It's going to do the work for you. However, in order for this to work, you must install the SSL certificate with your web hosting first. It will not work if you just create a website and you just add this plugin. It's not going to work. You have to have an SL, SSL certificate already in the works. Okay, so then next, once you get that SSL certificate uh, plugin right here, you want to click install. And then we're going to activate it. And now we have it activated. Okay, so I'm getting this warning um, that they detected a duplicate functionality with your other plugin. Really simple SSL. Please note that having two plugins with the same functionality may actually decrease your site performance and hurt your page loading time. So we recommend leave. We, rec we, re we recommend you to only leave one of the plugins active. So I'm going to actually just keep this active for right now for the sake sake of the tutorial but usually when you get a warning like this you want to make sure that the plugin doesn't um, break anything so um, it's not really bad but you know I'll work on that later but for the sake of this video we want to go down to um, settings and then we want to click SSL okay so then we want to click go ahead and activate SSL and this is going to do all the back-end work that we don't you know that we don't have experience in. It's going to do all the coding it's going to enable all the stuff that is going to help us get this site secure so next it says SSL is enabled on your website okay so one last thing I like to do is I like to enable the 301 redirect um, this basically redirects anything that's um, HTTP and it's going to redirect to HTTPS. So, so next is going to basically log you out and it's going to put you at the WordPress dashboard uh, login and but the reason why it's logging you out is because now it's resetting everything and now it sees it secure. So now you see a lock here. And this is what you want. This means that everything is secure um, on your website. Uh, so it's going to log you back in. Once you log back in, you want to make sure that it's still saying secure on this. And it's right, it's going. And then, so yeah, so basically you have secured it. You want to also enable the 301 dot ht access redirect I wouldn't ena enable any of these uh, because these can mess up these can really mess up the SSL certificate so I would just leave these um, toggled off and then I will click save okay and then once you click save um, it's, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's working. But just to be sure, please make sure you go, if you have multiple pages on your website, make sure you go through each page and make sure that the lock um, is still there. And if so, then you have it fully secured. And that's how you secure your website. So I hope this helped, helped you guys. If it does, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know if you watched the video and it helped you. Also, if you have any more questions, please leave a comment down below as well. I'll be glad to help you with any issues that, uh, if you have any issues with this. And thank you for watching the video. Bye.